Hi everybody, welcome back to Style Your Health. I'm Dr. Nandini Sunkiredi. I am board certified in family medicine, obesity as well as lifestyle. In my previous videos, I talked about the physical effects of sleep deprivation, mental effects of sleep deprivation, as well as stages of sleep. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the natural ways to help you sleep better. I'm a primary care physician and after the pandemic, uh, uh, after this pandemic has started, sleep deprivation has become a major problem. Pretty much in 25% of the patients I see, a lot of them have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. And uh, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, various things, what you can do in your daily life to help you sleep better. So first of all, day and night are not separate. The 16 hours, what we do during our daytime sets us for the seven to nine hours of sleep in the night. So make sure you know that. The first and the foremost advice, what I would suggest is try to make sure you, your room is dark. Any light, any light, including your phone light or your uh, light from the laptop, your brain perceives that it's daytime. So it, affects your melatonin release and that way you may not sleep so do not do not scroll on your social media or your instagram or whatsapp or your emails while lying on the bed and uh, try to switch up all the devices at least one to two hours before going to bed do not watch tv while lying on the bed uh, most of the people may not like this, but this is a fact. And the second one is uh, try to get as much exposure to sunlight as possible during the day. Try to go for a walk or try to try to expose yourself to sunlight as much as possible. Especially if you're a person who exercises, try to do as much exercise as possible before 3 p.m. So enough sunlight exposure also increases your melatonin release during the night. And the third thing is make sure your room is cool and calm. Um, any warm, increased warm, any warm temperature can make you sweat and not go to sleep. And the fourth thing is daytime naps. A lot of people have this habit. Limit your daytime naps. Do not take a nap after 3 p.m. And if you're taking a power nap, do not do it for more than 20 minutes. And the other thing which you want to do is try to set up a particular time to go to bed as well as wake up. For example, if you set up a time like 10 o'clock every night, if you sleep at 10, then uh, um, your body will automatically get into that circadian rhythm. So it will become much easier. And some people don't get to, uh, I mean, it's just uh, the way they are. They won't fall asleep until 11 o'clock, which is fine. As long as they can get the seven to nine hours of sleep, they're still okay. And the other thing is like, if you, if you are in the bed and you're not able to sleep, do not toss and turn in the bed. Try to get up and go read a book and come back and try to sleep. And uh, deep breathing also helps to fall asleep. And there are certain foods which are proven to help you to sleep better. And the first and the foremost one is cherries. Cherries as well as tart cherry juice um, helps, helps you to fall asleep. As well as uh, some of the fruits like bananas, kiwis, pineapples, and even nuts, walnuts, pistachios, almonds. All these foods, uh, they tend to help you to fall asleep. So having them uh, mm, mm, during the day or before bedtime can help you a whole lot. As uh, well as some people follow this like milk, warm milk with nutmeg or turmeric, even that helps for some people. So um, these are some of the natural foods which can help you. And along with that, there are certain foods which you want to avoid. Sometimes drinking milk with nutmeg and turmeric can also help. The first and the foremost thing, which you may not like it, but alcohol. Alcohol one to two hours before bed can make you really dehydrated and it may 
not make you sleepy a lot of people feel that alcohol helps them to sleep but it's not true if you're having sleep issues do avoid alcohol drinking alcohol at least 1 to 2 hours before bed and the second one is caffeine caffeine uh, avoid uh, uh, if you have sleep issues try to avoid caffeine after 3 pm in the afternoon it's just not tea, just tea coffee but even uh, caffeinated beverages like coke all the sodas as well as dark chocolate also has a lot of caffeine or any chocolate any candies in fact like just check the caffeine content try to avoid them after 3 pm and the third thing is uh, try to avoid heavy carbohydrate meal like rice pasta because carbohydrates for some people it may it may make them feel drowsy because of the release of insulin but overall it's not a good idea to have heavy carbohydrate meal at night because carbohydrates are more energy producing energy generating so they may make you feel awake keep you feel awake for a while and also um having carbohydrates at night can increase the cholesterol levels in your body especially the triglycerides um and uh, do not have too spicy food at night because the spicy food may increase the acid secretion and may cause acid reflux issues which may keep you awake all night so do avoid spicy food at night and try to avoid uh, um watermelons especially 1 to 2 hours before bed because the watermelon have lot of has lot of water because uh, and uh, you tend to use restroom more often so it may not let you have a restful sleep so try to avoid watermelons and drink a lot of water during the day but if you are using restroom constantly at night try to avoid uh, water at least an hour before or 1 to 2 hours before sleep if uh, using the restroom is uh, is continuous do see your primary care physician because there could be underlying bladder issues which may have to be taken care of and even after doing all these things if you're still not able to sleep and it, the sleep deprivation is continuing and it's becoming a major issue do see your doctor because there are a lot of interventions which could be done and always early diagnosis helps to um, treat better and, um, and if you and please do follow me on facebook and instagram at style your health md um and if you have any interest in any other topics do please do send me a message